One of the best things about being a professional cyclist is the fact that you have a huge range of the world's best equipment at your disposal. Now one thing which remains fairly constant for most riders throughout the year is their frame choice. That will only change on very rare occasions. However, one thing which can change quite often, sometimes even on a day-to-day -day basis, is the choice of wheels, which is why team trucks like this one here from MTN Quebec end up looking like this. But why have they got so many wheels on their truck and why are there so many different types of wheels for the riders to choose? Well, we've got just the man here to answer all those questions. This is Klaas, the mechanic from MTN Quebec. Thank you very much for giving us your time. Thank you. Firstly, how many wheels actually have you got inside this truck? It looks like a lot. Yeah, about uh, 90 wheels, Jim. 90 wheels. Right, so what are the choices available to the riders? Can you talk us through? Yeah, for sure. Start from the left, so the first one is 8-9. Front wheel, 8 centimeters high, the rear wheel, 9. Yeah, that's pretty deep. Yeah, uh, front wheel mainly used for TT. The rear wheel used uh, now and then, especially for uh, sprint stages and for uh, like Tyler Farrar. Okay. Really likes it, yeah. So that's the deepest ones. Yeah, so uh, next one, 6-7, six, 60 millimeters front, uh, 70 in the rear. Probably our most used wheel like in uh, normal stages, normal, normal, but uh, when it's not too much wind, um, would say in the two we use it 70% uh, of the stages. Uh, next one, 4-5, four, 40 front, 50 rear, uh, used in the classics, probably will be used with a 28mm tyre in the Roubaix stage. Ah, okay. Uh, next one, 3-4, 30 front, 40 rear, was the climbing wheel, uh, used uh, Louis Menches, Really like this one, yeah. use it in the most terrains. The last one, uh, still a prototype from Envy, but uh, 2020. Uh, also more fat or wide rim, 27 millimeter rim width. Like the rest are 26 in the front and 24 in the rear. Okay, so a lot of them you mentioned that they're deeper in the rear than they are in the front for the same model. What's, what's the reasoning behind that? Yeah, like we spoke about uh, handling and also with their uh, aero tests from Envy. So, uh, what they actually suggest is that uh, 90 wheel in the rear should be faster than a disc. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Right, so you have five different wheel sets to choose from. What are the factors of the parkour of a stage and the conditions, etc., which mean that you choose one over another? Yeah, so like the first two ones, like the climbing part of wheels, um, less rotation weight. So like you said, the bike will be too light and you put you add weight somewhere on the bike, but for handling and for the rotation weight, then they prefer this one. Then from the rest up, then we go for uh, aero. Okay, and yeah. in terms of, like if you've got crosswinds, how does that affect a rider's tire choice or wheel yeah. choice? In the so? rear, almost nothing. It has to be pretty windy yeah. to change the, the complete setup. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Klaus, you've had experience for years and years, actually you were my mechanic at Cervelo Test Team, I used to ride on the Cervelo Test Team, and Klaus was the mechanic there. What's your experience been like with these wheels in comparison to those that you've used in the past? Yeah, I must say that uh, as a team we are really, really, really happy with Envy. Um, the first time I saw this wheel, I thought it was going to be a nightmare uh, with the hidden nipples, but uh, during this season, I probably can count on one hand the rims that we have broken, which is unbelievable for a World 2 team because the riders is not nice to the material. Even through all the classics as well? Even through the classics. Uh, you know, a few broken spokes, but that happens in everywhere, you know, so there's nothing uh, that is a major problem. So the only thing you can say when you have a clinch at uh, wheel, like when you are a hobby rider and you use it and you have less problems with that, but the rims last extremely good. Okay, yeah. so you've still got plenty of wheels available, so probably not going to miss uh, a couple actually. Thanks very much for your time, Klaus. You're not going to miss these, are you? No, no problem. Ah, perfect, thank you. Now, if you'd like to see Tom Last investigating very scientifically the various widths of tyres currently used in the Pro Peloton, you can find a video on that by clicking up there. On the other hand, if you'd like to take a closer look at Louis Mainke's Cervelo S5 from MTN Quebec, you can find that by clicking just down there. Now, as always, subscribing to GCN is absolutely free. And on this occasion, all you've got to do to do it is click on my brand new set of wheels, which I'm going to go off with now before they change their mind. <laughs>